Today we're going to be talking about drywall levels and this will be all inclusive in a series about setting customer expectations. So something to always remember when you're starting a job is to be very clear about what is expected, what the levels are going to be and how far you're finishing. You don't want to be finishing to a level four when your client isn't expecting a level two or you don't want to be supposed to be giving them a level five and you're doing a level one. So let's go ahead and walk through what entails with each level, what things should look like, and kind of just where we get to these levels and how they help. So these are all created by the National Association of Walls and Ceilings to keep everybody on the same page. So your architect, your designer, your drywall contractor, everybody knows what every level is. There's obviously a big difference between all of these levels and it's a big difference in how much time and effort you put into these. So when you're pricing, price accordingly. If it's a level one, obviously you're gonna be way less. Level five, you're gonna be way more than a level one. So make sure you're educating your customers, you're talking to your architect, you're talking to your contractor, and that way everybody's on the same page. They know what finish they're getting. You're not wasting your time or your money doing something that you're not gonna get paid for.